Yo, yo, what's good? What's going on, everybody? It's your man, Vuitton Bond. The shot shooter. <laughs> Shoot your shot all 2020. The shit shooter. Talk your stuff, right? Spit your game, talk your shit. Hopefully, um, Diddy's not going to sue me for that. Um, Welcome to the Say That Podcast with Vuitton Bond. I am your host. We're live from the studio in Raleigh today. Um, this episode and the last episode I decided to do from the studio as opposed to being on the phone because shit, man, you know, the quality is better, dog. You know, I, I, studio quality is just better. This is episode number four, the auto tune episode. Why I enjoy using auto tune, my history with auto tune, one of my favorite things to talk about. But before we get into the sauce, let's pay some bills. This talk is brought to you by www.vatonbondmusic.com. Go to my site, sign up for my email list, and gain instant access to my latest mixtape, Gold Bars. You'll get 10 songs across five days in an interactive listening experience. Again, that's www.vatonbondmusic.com. This talk is also brought to you by the listeners of Atom Bond. Shout out to y'all. Y'all been rocking with me heavy, and I appreciate that. I love you guys. Literally. No cap. So, yep, this is the Say That Podcast, where this is a a real talk, no cap. I am the big baller, the shot caller, the power player, and the shit shooter. Y'all know what it is. So, I want to talk about auto-tune today. Why? Because I love auto-tune. Society hates auto tune for the most part. Cause I'll see like comments on certain videos, especially in the indie community. Uh, I'm a part of a Facebook group where it's a bunch of indies trying to basically um, promote themselves. And I'll see people, you know, they'll post their videos and they'll share some comments. And of course, people say things about maybe them using auto tune or something. People have a big problem with auto tune. I think it's because they think auto-tune is inauthentic or it's overexposed let me speak about auto-tune from my perspective as somebody who's been using it for a long time as somebody who actually makes music let me tell you what my intention is so I started using auto-tune in 2008 that was the very first time that I used it on myself and some of my friends I know a lot of guys who are really, really talented auto-tune rappers, quote unquote. I don't want to box them in like that, but they're very, very talented using auto-tune. First time I ever heard it was on Believe by Cher. I listened to that song. This shit is crazy to me. That is the 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 godmother of auto-tune, Cher, just because she used it on a couple of lines in a song from 1998. Or some year like that. T Pain is the godfather of auto tune, also. Some people say Roger Troutman. Roger Troutman did not use auto tune, he used a voice box. It's a different thing altogether. And if his was custom, it's the type of shit that you basically you put the tube in your mouth and then you play the instrument like Peter Frampton did it in the 70s. So first time I heard auto tune was share then i heard i'm sprung by t-pain t-pain was using auto-tune like crazy and then lil wayne started using it and then every other rapper started using it. kanye kanye started using it started using it 2008 after i heard lollipop by lil wayne and put on by jeezy and kanye because kanye's part up there was ridiculous his his uh, go back and listen to it the way he hopped on that shit with the tune was fucking brilliant. I love it. So I started using it. Me and my friends started using it. And I was going hard with it, man. Like it got to a, I was addicted. I'm I'm an auto-tune addict. That's what I'm gonna name this shit. Auto-tune addict. Cause that's me. That was me back then. I got off of it when Jay-Z had Death of Auto-Tune. Because he was trying to kill it. I think he said he saw it on a Wendy's commercial and he felt like he had to do something about it. 
like he had to put his fucking foot inside of autotune and, and rip its bones out or some shit and you know you, you know you think you're gonna do something you're gonna make a widespread change but guess what it only made it worse okay we all started using it more Kanye had a whole autotune album whole autotune record amazing album I love it 808s and Heartbreaks one of my favorite albums ever made so I started using it 08, 09 and then I kind of stopped after uh, Jay Z but then I was like fuck him cause I'm gonna do my thing and then I've been using it ever since man I've been using it 10 years 10 years plus and a lot of my records are auto-tuned have some kind of semblance some kind of essence of auto-tune in it uh, I don't feel like I'm the best auto-tuner but I just the reason why I use it is because I fucking enjoy it anybody who hates auto-tune I would say hey have you ever been in a studio and stood in front of a hot microphone with auto-tune on the track I don't think so I don't think you've ever done that because when you step in front of the mic and you start playing with the auto tune and you just start saying stuff and you get the biggest kick out of how your voice sounds with the tune on I know I do you can just do so much you can play around with it like it's it it it's a tool that unlocks your creativity by the way, Antares, Antares, I don't know how the fuck you pronounce it. They are not paying me to say this, okay? TC Helicon is not paying me to say this. I'm saying this as a user and abuser of the tool. And that's all it is. It's a tool. It's no different than somebody who wants to use watercolors to paint. It's no different than somebody who makes a clay pot with a certain type of mud. It's just a tool that we use to express ourselves. That's it. I'm not trying to use auto-tune to get on. I'm not using auto-tune to sound like somebody else. My shit don't sound like anybody else's. I, I need you guys. Go ahead. Listen to my shit. Tell me who I sound like. I don't really sound like anybody in particular. So I'm not trying to hop on a wave. I'm just trying to make dope music that I fuck with. Let me tell you something. It trickles down from me, baby. So, you know, if I if I fuck with my music, I know other people are going to fuck with my music. The right people. It trickles down from me. So you ain't got to like the tune. I remember 2016, I dropped 919 Jesus. I was just basically spamming it on SoundCloud because I was desperate. I had no idea how to promote. I have a better idea now. I had no idea how to promote. I was just sending messages all day. And this one guy got back to me. He was like, hey, man, I think the album's good. Um, as far as the auto-tune goes, I don't think you need it. You know, the true school wouldn't really enjoy the auto-tune. And I'm like, the true school. The true school, huh? In my mind, I'm like, fuck the true school. I don't care about the true school. I don't care about a bunch of old, crotchety hip-hop heads people who are stuck in 1987 I don't care about those people I got 2020 vision now that it's 2020 I got 2030 vision I'm always thinking how's the music gonna sound next year and the year after I wanna future proof my shit I don't wanna make shit that sounds old okay I just you know I wanna do my thing no I don't need auto tune no of course not Do I need samples? No. Do I need synths? No. Do I need 808s? No. Do I need anything? I don't need anything. It's a tool for self-expression. It's not a money-making thing. It's not a cash grab. It's just a way that we make songs, bro. That's it. And we have fun doing it. I use auto-tune because I love the way I sound. It's a hell of a lot of fun to use. And it's just another way for me to express myself. That's why I use it. 
let me let me tell y'all something man y'all need to go ahead get in front of a hot mic with auto-tune armed on the track and play with it that's for people who hate auto-tune the real auto-tune haters the anti-tuners there's a lot of y'all out here man I think a lot of people again they're just fed up with the sound but the sound is the sound it is what it is man you know it's just the sound you're getting caught up on the tool that people are using but you're not listening to the intention you don't hear what the song is about you don't hear what the man is saying you don't feel the vibe all you do is say auto-tune you sound like a robot you sound like everybody else I'm not gonna give you a chance now how fucked up is that come on man feel the music that's what it's about if it makes me more musical I'm gonna use it if it makes a dope record I'm gonna use it no cap so anyway those are my thoughts about autotune man if you guys uh, you know want to express your opinion man if you're on YouTube go ahead and leave a comment below subscribe to the channel like the video share it if you're on Apple Podcasts Google Podcasts Spotify Podcasts go ahead and subscribe follow whatever the fuck you need to do to keep getting this content on a weekly basis enjoy the beginning of 2020 And I'll catch up with you guys next week. DM me for a shout out also. Leave a review for a shout out also. And remember, www.vatanbombmusic.com. Go get that Gold Bars mixtape. It's got plenty of auto-tune on it. You think I'm joking, but I'm serious. All right. Y'all take care. See that.